Leo, what a goddamn Leo, what is going on, my Leos, it is Scorpion Reds Tarot, I am back at it again, baby, yes, indeed, for your mid-month reading, mm-hmm, for your May the 15th through the 31st reading, thank you guys so much for clicking this video, thank you so much, why are you looking at my busted up coffee little cup that I'm never, I love this cup, do y'all just have a cup that y'all just, it don't matter. Like, it's going to have to literally get a crack in it. It'll break for me not to use this cup. I just love this little busted ass regular fucking 7-Eleven cup, y'all. Okay? Come on now. So, thank y'all for allowing me to adjust my camera and, you know, take a, a quick swiggy dig of my coffee, honey. Because y'all already know. Mm-mm. Mm. -mm. mm. Hun. Listen. Y'all not even about to do me right now. Y'all ain't about to do me right now in this coffee. Listen, y'all. So, again, thank you guys so much for clicking the video. Listen to me ramble. Um, shout out to everyone who has been liking, sharing, and all my new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you so much for all of the love that you guys have been sending my way. Y'all know Leo's is one of my favorite, favorite signs. You guys have been one of my number one supporters. One of the first signs that I've ever had that hit 1K. And I appreciate you guys like no other. Like, y'all my motherfuckers. Y'all my mother. But that's my dog. That is my dog, okay? So, if you would like to book a personal private reading with Scorpion Red Several, you can do so by clicking that About tab. You'll see a couple hyperlinks there. And what you need to do is book and then link, okay? Book and then link. The first thing you need to do is click that booking tab, okay? That says, um, I'm sorry, that booking link that says Scorpion Red Several as Simply Book Me. Again, it says Scorpion and read several as simply book me once you select your reading you need to double back and link back up with me okay so that we can you know conduct the meeting there so you will see a link for my Instagram right under that booking link that says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. You will see a link that says Instagram. Go ahead and click that and send me a personal private message. And on that date and time that you selected for your reading, we will connect there to read, um, to do the reading. If you don't have an Instagram or prefer not to use your Instagram, that is totally fine. Um, you can use Google Hangouts. It's an easy app to download. Um, you just use my email, which is Scorpion Reds at gmail.com. And we can conduct our uh, video chat there. If you would like a video recap that you can watch back of our session, you can purchase an add-on, all right? And it's called Video Recap slash Private Upload. You can also use that add-on if you do not want to get on camera with me to do a face-to-face -face reading. Um, you can book your reading and then select that add-on. Send me a message on either Instagram or Google Hangouts. Let me know the question or questions. It depends on what type of reading that you had. Let me know what you want to know. Do not tell me your the situation surrounding your don't tell me everything going on in your situation i only want to know what your question is because i don't want you to say you just told me that okay so like i said book and then link up with me and then on that date and time either you will be getting your video and or we will be doing the video chat all right and we'll be all good so again um if anyone would like to send any love to the page again um i'm going to be using the numerology deck which was sent to me by a lovely supporter miss Callie which I had a private reading with her which she is amazing 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 and out of the kindness of her heart she used the Amazon wish list to you know send me that deck which we will be using today for your spiritual guidance so shout out to my baby Callie everyone you know just send some love to Callie because she is amazing and also she just ordered another deck for us the freaking game of thrones deck shout out to my girl Callie. okay i'm excited about that listen to me so i guess she like shit bitch i like game of thrones i want to see a, a game of thrones i want to see ari up on the table so listen to me okay Y'all look out for that. Shout out to my girl, Callie. So if you guys want to send some love, or if it's just this particular deck that you want to see me use, and, and also, don't forget, it's because of y'all that y'all be getting that tea. Y'all be getting that tea. Because y'all be sending that money to the PayPal, and because uh, Amazon wish list, you guys make this possible. So thank you, and shout out to all of you guys that's been supporting. And everyone just like send shout out, big shout out to everyone that's been sending love. Because it's because of y'all support, the reason why these readings are so awesome like that. And I have all of these amazing decks, as you can see, that we are using. All of these are damn near new, you know what I'm saying? And it's all because of your love. So thank you so much. So again, if you guys want to send some love to the page, if this video resonates, and you want to send 
send some love to the page you can feel free to do so um my link to my amazon wish list and my paypal is in the about tab and in the description of this video so again thank you guys so much for the love light and support let's get into the reading enough of my rambling okay Father God, thank you so, so much for bringing us here on this day. Father, it is, it's a cool breeze outside. That sun is out shining. Real lovely. We in this like, I'm in D.C., so I don't know what everybody else's weather is. But it's like that kind of, you know, early, like chill in the morning. Then when it hit noon, it be real nice and hot and toasty. It's just like, yeah, you know, that windbreak weather. You know what I'm saying? So, the windbreaker weather so like father like we just like breaking out our coats and we got our windbreakers on we just ready for the season like we just feeling real juicy real festive out here father god please give us guidance for the sign of leo because you know leo always know what it be yo you already know what leo about father god and you know we feel it glorious and victorious in um 2019 father we are taking our power back it is our year and you know, if they ain't on our side, they can be in fear. We don't care because we're going to look if you going to run with us or you going to get ran right through. We ain't got no time to be dealing with. We ain't got we ain't got it to do. Leo ain't got real. Leo ain't got it to do. OK, so Father God, please give us guidance for the sign of Leo for mid month, um, May the 15th through the 31st. I don't know why I keep wanting to say March. Why do I keep wanting to say March? Father God, please give us guidance. For Leo for mid-May, the 15th through the 31st. And thank you again for all of your abundant light. All of your blessings and all of the guidance that you've given us in the past, present, and future. Please give Leo guidance. Thank you again. Please give us our spirit number. Healing. Heal to the link. So right now, this is a point of healing for my Leos. Yes, indeed. We are healing. Let's see if there's anything else we got. I feel like... I feel like a little bit more wanted to come out. So let me just shuffle it up a little bit. And um, I feel like with this throat chakra, this show, this throat chakra really being evident here, I really do feel like you guys are just probably secluding yourself in healing. And y'all just fuck it, spiritual partnership. Mm-hmm. I was about to say, you guys are like, healing and you guys are going through a point right now where you just um are just speaking your truth about what you really want about what you really see in your life about who you see yourself with about clearly you know the purple right here this represents the crown chakra like you guys really went through i feel like you guys are on the other side of your transition you're on the other side of the transition where you guys are in the receiving stage god dang you know what leo bring me over there with you because that's see i'm a hard-headed scorpio and i need to be on that st side of the stage with y'all and i'm going i'm not even gonna lie y'all i am not perfect and trust me i'm going through my own personal journey as, as well as y'all like everybody's in different stages i ain't far behind but i, I listen leo's in the tail end of that healing where they they're like no i'm in the receiving stage they're about receiving they're about believing they trust their healing they know their healing they believe in their healing you know what i'm saying and right now it's because they are healed they truly understand everything that they went through and they are speaking their truth they know what they know now and they have a greater understanding in regards to their truth and who they are in this new phase in their life like this is to me this 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 card right here what i'm seeing in this card i'm seeing the world card where that new world is being presented to leo and they are sitting there literally with their pen and pad with the angels looking over their shoulder and they're literally i'm healed now i am i am achieving I am blessed because I am happy. I am grateful. And it's like it's it's it, it's like their wording. They, they, they are really using their tools appropriately. And you know what I say? Using your tools as your mind, your heart intentions, what you write on paper, what you speak with your tongue. 
You understand? Using your tools appropriately because they really do want this spiritual partnership right here. This is sacral chakra right here. They feel with a very deep emotion now. They feel very like they're in a place of manifestation. They are really determined and they have like a certain just like energetic vitality right like they are just like running like running and you know leo that's fire sign they action they bought that action you understand what i'm saying so right here they understand what they want they understand what they need do you understand they feel energetic they feel vital they feel creative they feel determined to get it you know what i'm saying but it's about them healing and manifesting this spiritual partnership them being able to receive and attract it to them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hold on, you guys, real quick. I'm sorry, guys. I was just told to wash my hands. Because it's just like... I feel like whoever this Leo, this whoever this Leo that I am channeling with right now, they are like a neat freak. They like things clean. You know what I'm saying? They like, you know what I'm saying? They're like, I'm um, wash your hands. Can you please wash your hands? <laughs> hey father, y'all Freddy is shit. It's like, no, you need to wash your hands before you, you know, touch the cards, cause you know where we're healing. This is a clean slate. Like we, we yeah. <laughs> oh boy, temperance, you balanced, you listen. I'm trying to tell you, Leo, I, Leo, bring me where y'all are at. I'm trying to tell you, there is no more indecision. And I feel like also, y'all are not allowing nobody to fight over y'all. Y'all see exactly. And I, and I feel like this energy has something to do with a Leo male. I feel like it's like, listen, and I told y'all before. And it's not that I'm trying to be mean, but I feel like this Leo has left both of these idiots behind because it's just like, I don't, you know, I'm not going to sit here and be blind and just have two people fighting over me. Like, I feel like both of y'all look stupid and I just don't want to be involved with nobody. Like, they don't want nobody fighting over them because they, they just like, it's childish. I just heard it's childish. Like, they, they tired of that childish fucking drama and then. And, and, they tired of that bullshit. Whatever Leo man that is, like, I feel like for a long time, like, they were, like, maybe a player and stuff like that. And they acted like they didn't see that people were, like, competing over them and stuff like that. And shit, after, you know, they might have liked it, you know? They might have liked it. It might have tickled their fancy a little bit. But I feel like this person is grown now. Like, this person is grown. <laughs> like, I'm not about to. And another thing is, like, they want a spiritual partnership. They want a spiritual partnership. They don't want to be with nobody that... Where they feel like they're going to want to cheat and all of this stuff like that. And they're going to be confused and not know what they want. And have people fighting over them. No, they want a spiritual connection. They don't want that. They don't want that no more. And I really do think that this Leo man is growing, has grown up a lot. And they just realized that, it, listen, the Hierophant... This Leo man wants marriage. This Leo man is like truly healing and foundation is different. I feel like this person has moral, has respect, has true clarity and understanding about what a good man is. A lot of the shit that they were doing in the past was childish and they're not going to operate in that way no more. They are moving in a way where they are attracting a spiritual connection they are healing themselves and really speaking their truth and like I said and I think I've been saying this what is this the magician yes they are literally manifesting a brand new life for them and, and this is the thing they know their power now this is not somebody that this is someone that went through this healing do you understand what I'm saying Listen to me. <laughs> this is like a master magician. But this person understands as above, so below. What you put out, you get back. And be careful what you ask for. And use your tools wisely. What did I tell you? 
the effort, your mind, what you what you what you putting your attentions into. You know what I'm saying? Like your actions, how you moving. You understand? And then your and then your you know your emotions, what you saying, and you know what I'm saying. You gotta use your tools wisely. You have to use your tools wisely. This man, after coming out of this healing, they know what they want. They know what they're saying. They know exactly what they feel. You know, they understand everything. Listen, as above, so below. They understand that now. They have become a master magician. And when I tell you that this person is manifesting the shit out of a true, committed, solid partnership, honey, do you see me? This person has peace on their table. That dove represents peace. They're manifesting peace, harmony, true commitment. Something where it's true clarity. There ain't going to be no back and forth. Do I want to stay here? Do I not want to stay here? Am I going to cheat? Nah, nah, no, 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 no. 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 They're too grown. I'm too grown. That's all I, I that's all I'm keep hearing. Like that shit was childish. They wanna they want peace. And and do you see the magician, his the snake is the belt. And that truly represents wisdom. Wisdom. Knowing the ins and outs of how things move about in the true nature of all creatures in the universe. Do you understand what I'm saying? Understanding human and animal nature. Wisdom. Give me guidance for this Leo. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. The Knight of Cups in reverse. The Queen of Wands. So I feel like, you know, there's a there's somebody that's the Queen of Wands here. And I feel like Leo might be acting like the Knight of Cups. I feel like... They feel that this woman is beautiful. They feel like there's they have a lot of common. But I don't feel like this is their spiritual partner. They don't feel like this um Leo, Sagittarius, Aries woman is as beautiful as she is. He doesn't feel like that's his spiritual partner. And he'll know for sure if that one is the one. And I don't think that with all of her beauty and all of her strength and, and everything, this person is like drinking their cup. Do you see what I'm saying? This person is drinking the cup and not expressing love to this woman. Do you see what I'm saying? Because I feel like this person wants something a little bit greater. Give me guidance on this Queen of Wands, please. Give me guidance on this Knight of Cups and this Queen of Wands. Yeah. I feel like whatever is something about this situation with this queen of wands here that this leo is not offering love it's not moving forward and offering love to this person anymore and there's clearly a delay in this relationship and it's like this, this person is healing and they're looking for a spiritual partner and i feel like i feel like what this person was looking for in this woman, I just don't think that he found it in her. As beautiful as she is and everything like that. Um, and I feel like this person has a very... This woman has a lot of magical elements to her too. But she knows how to manifest and things like that. I don't feel like it's as strong as his though. Um, I feel like he's very intrigued by her. Like she's very kind of mystical and you know um it's you know it like he's very intrigued by her and it's her beauty and she represents that sacral chakra and 
it's like she knows what she feels and she knows what she is and like she acts on what she thinks and and how she feels and who she knows who she so he loves that he loves that but for some reason it's just he looks into things thoroughly now you know what i'm saying with this healing he looks into things thoroughly now with people before he decides to just move forward in relationships with with people because he's manifesting his spiritual partner and whatever the hell he's seen whatever it something told him to don't move forward give me additional guidance on this with this person and, and, and I feel like it, it, it was competition there clearly with that um, two of swords with them people I feel like for a long time he couldn't make his mind up about who he wanted or something like that and I feel like he kind of just walked away from both yeah he was in a, it was a mental prison it was a mental prison, but someone helped him get out of that. And they found love. Oh, okay. But why would you not be... Oh, I get it. I get it, 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 okay. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay. No, I take this back. He do like this, this, this. It was just a delay. It was a delay because it was, it was, it was, it was somebody else there. It was somebody else there that got in the way of this commitment here. It was somebody else that got in the way of this commitment here. And I feel like this Leo, this Leo had to stop for a second. Um, Expressing his love to this person because he had to cut himself free. He had to cut himself free from. Okay, let me start from the beginning. All right, let me start from the beginning, you guys. All right, so as you can see, Leo had a decision to make that it was hard for him to make a decision or hard for her because you see it's a female sitting there and against two men. So, but I'm picking up a male energy. I always pick up a male energy when I do Leo. But this is a female sitting here. So it could be a Leo woman had two different men fighting over her and she really couldn't make a decision. But at the same time, this person really wants commitment. And I feel like this person, um, it was very hard for them to see who was the one, the real, the real true right one for them. So I feel like this Leo sat back and I feel like prayed a lot, got there foundation together thought really hard about their morals and their tradition and who kind of like more so fits the bill with you know their upbringing and I feel like at one point in time this person did cut both of these people off and they walked away to kind of get their mind together and think about what they really want in forms of commitment and what their traditional factors are what is true to them what they want in a relationship and then once they figured that out they really started working hard on manifesting but in order to that to do that they really had to stop expressing love to people that they weren't sure about do you, do you understand what i'm saying they really had to stop expressing love to people that they were not sure about and give that love to their self because you can't love nobody until you love yourself and you truly know who the fuck you are that's why they went and they studied and they try to figure out what they are who their foundations are and go back to their upbringings and their teachings of how they were taught to act as a man or act as a good woman when they were young or, or even if it was some fucked up upbringing that they had they went back to the table and learned some new shit from someone and literally was taught the right way so that they can manifest the right way and use their powers the right way and they most definitely had but they had to stop making a fool of themselves just giving you you understand what i'm saying you got to you got to love yourself in order to attract the right love so they stopped giving love out and they started loving themselves 
because at the end of the day they really do want someone that is just like them someone that knows what they want someone is action oriented someone that is beyond beautiful you know what i'm saying but at the same time i feel like before they can move forward i'm trying to attract that person and approach that person leo still had a lot of work to do they still had a situation with somebody because like i said there were two people here so there was a situation with somebody that they still felt like they were in a prison and it might literally be you know the thought of this queen of wands you know if this is a if this is a leo man element the thought of this woman is just like him or just the thought of if you're a, a, um, a leo woman the thought of you just really sitting on your throne as the queen you understand what i'm saying and you're not moving forward until you know for sure that you're not mentally tangled and in prison and anymore. This trivial child is bullshit no more because you want true love. You really do want true love. And I feel like for the Leo male, they want someone that I want to say is possibly a Sagittarius. I keep her in Sagittarius. Like it's like a Sagittarius woman that they're very, very attracted to. And they think that she's fiery and she's feisty and they really, really like her. You know, and I think that they do have one person in particular that they have in mind. But it's like you can't go forward if you still trapped in a mental prison and you can't make a decision about who it is that you really want and you act like you got a blindfold and you can't see who the best one is for you. You know what I'm saying? Who the best one is for you to commit to. So I feel like they had to go through this journey to really get to this stage where not only that they attract the right love, but they can have and hold this person, marry this person, truly commit to this person and not be confused. They want to have and hold. And they're ready to stop thinking about this. And like I said, they're healed. They are healed. They're done healing. They are ready for action. They are ready for this love now. So I hope I, I hope that that made sense. Because at first I was just like, what? Because it's like, I'm, I'm not confused anymore. I'm not going to sit here and act stupid. I know that I need to get my foundation together. You know, I need to get my paradigm together. And if I'm going to commit, I need to first commit to God and commit to change and healing myself. And drinking, listen, and stop offering love to just anybody and offer that shit to myself. So I can get a true queen or so that I can be the true queen that I am. You feel me? I bet you ride so good. Yeah. Oh, let me bang it. Oh, let me bang it out. Let me see what the center energy is. This is the light and shadow oracle deck here. Oh, let me bang it. Oh, let me bang it out. Yeah, they want that spiritual partner. Oh, come on, honey. That's a lot. Uh-uh, baby. That's too much, honey. But I did see... You know, I have to take this. I have to take this. Strange Valentine. This was the one that came out on top. Strange Valentine. Strange Valentine. And what I'm getting from that, I'm just basically telling you that now that you... This spiritual partner that you're manifesting, because I'm trying to tell you... They are manifesting by truly loving their self and healing their self. So, you know like how you got that glow on you? They walking around with that glow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and they cutting themselves out of that prison and they coming to the fuck on out with that glow on them. So, they, they can attract the right person for them. But I feel like the person that... And it's still two or three damn cards. Hmm. Okay. I gotta take this. Alright, so basically what this is saying right here. There's a 
it's like a stormy period in your life because, like I said, you are going through, you know, the teachings of the Hierophant. You are learning how to be a new man. You are learning how to be a new queen. Or you are learning how, to, I mean, like I said, you're in a point where you're learning how to receive. And I feel like, you know, it was a stormy period in your life. I don't feel like it's a stormy period in your life right now. I feel like it might be a stormy period for people that you're dealing with because right now there's a, coll a collision of beliefs, styles, attitude, and energies. I feel like a lot of things that you used to put up and you used to allow to go on and just wreak havoc in your life before you are changing that. You are not allowing that thing. And it's like certain people just don't understand. Listen, I'm, I'm not doing that no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, me and you are just not honest. I'm not that person anymore. So, there's this co a collision in belief and styles. Like, you just, that, like, some people just don't really understand that you change and they don't want to let you change. They don't want to let you change. And that's a personal problem for them because guess what? Angel Delos Murtos transition to the spiritual realm. You have elevated. You have elevated. You have said ashes to ashes and dust to dust to that old way of thinking, that old way of being. You want a true spiritual partnership. You want to get married. You want someone that's going to be in your life forever. You don't want all this drama, all this confusion, all of this bullshit. So I know a lot of people feel rejected right now, but they're just going to have to get the fuck over it. The, the faceless ghost and the haunted girl ghost people. So you might have ghosted a lot of people. And they is on your fucking back. Because they don't understand that you are changed. And you don't want to deal with them anymore. And I understand that they got a lot of fucking hurt feelings. But they're just going to have to get over it. And for whoever this is that's dealing with this Leo. I am going to read this card to you. So you can see how Leo feels about you. Okay? And do not get mad at me and think that this is me. This is the cards that are being dealt on the table. Okay? So this might be a Leo female and she feels like it's two men. Like I said, there's a woman with two men that was battling over her. I feel like one, you know, wasn't offering her shit and one was offering her everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Let me read this to y'all. Okay. It says, these faceless ones are coming to me, trying to take advantage of what they see as a moment of weakness. But I do not fear them, as I know they are blank, formless, and simply taking on any energy they can find. I know who I am, and I clearly see they do not. They are simply spirits who have lost their way. And so they feed off of others. I might not be my strongest at this time, but I am stronger than I ever than they ever will be. Again, I might not be at my strongest at this time, but I am stronger than they ever will be. They will not feed off of me, but I know who they are and what they seek. I do not wish them harm, but neither but neither will I give my energy away to them. I will also warn you to do the same. It says you may seem in need of help to people who actually have an agenda at the moment. People around you are acting like experts and supporting each other in a group mindset and wanting you to join them for your own good despite your misgivings. They either do not fully uh, well, hold on. It says they either do not have fully formed identities or they are too easily taken on beliefs and ideas of powerful others. You may be asked to join with others in their beliefs and be alarmed at their mindset and their belief system as very blank and faceless, devoid of human joy and warmth. It is wise for you to keep your own counsel. Remain detached and wait for these faceless ones to reveal themselves. They will change when an even more powerful person for them to attach to comes along. Know that until they find their own self and commit to following that path, they will be as blank pages written upon by whatever 
hand comes near them. Do not be like this. Make your own mark on this world. There could be imitation taking place. Whether your work or ideas or even your personalities are being copied too closely. Hmm. 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 So listen. Listen. You guys are changing in ways and making transitions that people don't understand. And I feel like there are people that are like seriously like just trying to attach their self to you because they don't know who they are and they want it's like they feel like you're you're their other half to make them whole and I feel like that's the reason why Leo is rejecting these people because it's like how can I be your other half when I'm trying to figure out what you know what I'm saying like I'm making me me I'm I can't I can't be that for you and they really do feel like to some extent that this person is like some type of like energy vulture or something like that. Someone is just like sucking them dry of their peace and, and things like that. And it's just like, I feel like a, Leo allowed this, this shit a long time ago. And that's why they're looking for spiritual growth. They're looking for training. You know what I'm saying? Transition into the spiritual realm. They are learning about a lot of different things that just help them grow spiritually and evolve spiritually and it's like even in that i feel like this person is trying to attach themselves to them like oh i want to go i want to learn about this stuff and just like leo's like a, and anything that leo is trying to do and whatever leo is trying to be this person is like trying to attach themselves to leo and be some type of carbon copy or something like that and i feel like that's why leo goes to these people because it's like this is my journey like i don't need it's just it was just an unhealthy attachment Seriously. Excuse me, I needed some water. And I feel like one of the reasons why Leo ghosted this person is because it's like they are taking a transition into learning who they are at this stage in their life. And they had to ghost you because it's like you can't follow me. You need to find out who the fuck you are. And it's like along Leo's path, they want to find someone that is on their page that is like that is like that that is on their page you know what i'm saying so give me guys who is this faceless ghost and this haunted girl it is most definitely a female that feels like there's someone that's just irritating them like they're just trying to grow spiritually they're trying to go on this transition and things like that and it's like this person is just like trying to hold them back and keep them held captive and that old shit and it's just like no give me guidance um who's this faceless ghost yeah you having thoughts and you're painting a new picture of yourself who you design and think that you that you are give me more guidance okay Family room and marriage is in the reverse. So this might be someone that you have children with. That you have children and an old commitment with. It might be someone that you're currently going through a divorce with. Or someone that you recently had a breakup of a serious commitment. You know, you guys basically lived with each other. If you weren't married, it was like a common law marriage. You know, but you guys definitely lived with each other. Okay? And I feel like right now... You, your thoughts are what a healthy home looks like. What a healthy home looks like. What a healthy marriage looks like. And you're painting that picture. You're painting that picture. And that picture alone. And that's where your heart, your mind, and your thoughts are. And I feel like that that is bothersome to this person. To whoever these faces ghosts are. And as you can see, it's two people here as well. So I, I, I'm trying to tell you, Leo got rid of two people. They got rid of, they knocked two birds out with one stone. To either sit on their throne as the queen. And attract the right, and, and get themselves mentally out of this prison. So that they can attract the right love. And be able to receive it when it comes out. You see what I'm saying? Because this is someone that's done their healing and they're receiving. They're, they're ready to come out. They're ready to receive all of their blessings. You feel what I'm saying? They want to receive this love. Okay? 
after that, or it is, like I said, a Leo man. He's going through what he needs to go to get himself healed and get himself right. Because I feel like he might be offering marriage to this Sagittarius woman or this um, Leo Aries or Sagittarius woman. Give me guidance about this faceless ghost. Lovers. Main female. Expectations. Official person. So this is someone. This faceless ghost was someone that you you guys were past lovers. And this was someone that was at that point in time the main female. And you were the official person to her. You know. Alright. So y'all were lovers. You know. And, and you know she... But it's like she was just the main female though. But you were her official persons. But she was just the main female. So when I see main female, I always feel like there's another person there. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like this person had expectations. You know? This person had expectations. But they knew that y'all were just lovers. And this person had expectations. And I feel like that's why this person is trying to attach theirself to y'all. This was the main female. So that's that's that Leo man energy right there. And I don't feel like Leo wants that type of connection anymore. They want they want a healthy marriage. Okay, I'm looking right here. Give me guys some love for Leo. Leo is manifesting marriage. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. They are manifesting marriage. They are manifesting a true commitment. They have a brand new slate. Like, they literally have... Listen, their thoughts. Their thoughts. I feel like their thoughts is their manifestation. Their thoughts right now is their canvas. You know what I'm saying? They are manifesting. I told you with that magician up there. They are manifesting a perfect happy union a spiritual connection and I'm not saying that that connection that they had with that old lover that main woman wasn't a good connection but they 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 don't wanna they don't wanna start nothing new they want a fresh fresh start they don't I mean they don't wanna have a fresh start in something old they want a fresh fresh start they don't want to built from anything in the past they're not even thinking about it they're not even contemplating on anything from the past they want a fresh start they want a blank canvas that they can paint whatever they want and not think about building anything from the past and not worry about that they don't listen they are the divine masculine do you hear me they are truly they know whoever this leo is like i said they yeah, they're they're not they're not being a victim. Or this is a Leo woman that is like refusing to be a victim by okay. Give me this. Give me more. Cause sometimes I'll be feeling like let me pull out all of these cards first before I start talking. Okay. Okay. So this is what I'm getting. Like I said. Okay. So like I said, this person has a brand new start in life. They don't want to restart anything from the past. They don't want because I feel like this person wants to still attach themselves to Leo and just like can we just start over can we just start over and Leo's like no I'm not even thinking towards that direction right now like it's no offense but I'm not thinking towards that direction I'm really trying to step up and be a good man and truly act like the divine masculine you know what I'm saying and or this is a Leo woman that has a brand new start she don't want nothing in the past because she wants to attract her true divine masculine you know she doesn't want to be a victim to the past anymore and not being recognized by a false love. Or, like I said, in the middle of a whole a lover's 
quarrel. Like they just don't want to be a victim of that anymore. They want a true mature man that really knows who he is and he knows his divine power and his, you know, his unique divinity. Do you understand what I'm saying? As a as a divine masculine. Cause some of these men, they just be out here just operating off with free will and they be deceptive and they just be out here breaking hearts and just I mean when and the women too. Because like I said, there's a woman here that has two men. So, you know, and every aspect that is deceptive too because you got these men battling against you. You see what I'm saying? So it's like it's like It's like wanting to know and wanting to be around the right type of man. Not being a victim of looking for recognition from people that will never recognize you. It's like you got the free will of what type of love to choose. Like It's like you could continue to be around deceptive energies or you could try to really get some understanding or not. You understand? Eventually you're going to see the signs though. You're going to see the signs and you're going to have to dig deep and you're going to have to go through the shadow work so you can attract the right things that you need. So it's like, no, I don't want to. I'm painting a brand new picture. I don't want anything in the past. I'm not even contemplating anything. I am the divine masculine and or I'm trying to attract my true divine masculine. I'm not looking to be a victim recognizing Looking for recognition from people who have free will to go out there and deceive and cheat and do whatever they want to do. That was something I had to come to understanding about. That is something that I had to see the signs about. That is something that I had to dig deep within and decide that I'm not going to keep searching for love in, in, in a place where it's just I wasn't wanted. You know what I'm saying? It's like I wasn't wanted and or I was confused and I didn't know what I want. You know what I'm saying? So this is ever someone that was deceived or was doing the deceiving. Because I, I do feel like... I do feel like the, the Divine Masculine didn't want to keep... Didn't want to keep victimizing people that they knew that they were never going to recognize as their true counterpart because they had free will and they were just being deceptive. And it took them a long time to come to that understanding and see the signs that they had to, they had to work on themselves. And right now they're trying to paint a better picture and they don't want to try to go back to anything in the past because they felt wrong for a lot of the things and how they hurt people in the past. And they don't want to open up their door again. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like what is done is done. What is done is done. And it's like I'm not, a, I'm not that same person anymore. Especially if I hurt you like that. Why are you still trying to attach yourself to me? Like, yeah, I appreciate and I acknowledge that, you, that I am trying to heal and I'm trying to get better. Be and I am, but I can't take you with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, what we did or what we had, that was in the past. Like, you got to leave me alone and let me grow. You know? Whatever we had is over. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want... I had to release you so that you could see your true divinity and I can see mine. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to be... Okay, this is just... Okay. Yeah. Like, this is the star card in reverse. This person had to truly go through their shadow period. Like, they had to go through the storm. They had to go through the shadow period. And they had to purge and pour out things that were not beneficial to their growth and their true trans transition. Like, right now... This Leo has faith. This person is encouraged. This person truly knows the beauty of what lies in them. And they're still purging out things. And they're still going through this shadow period and having to face their own demons. If you understand what I'm saying. And it's like almost like every time that they have to deal with this person. It's like they're having to go through this storm and face this person and, and deal with this shit. And it's just like, I just, listen. You see this, you see this rose growing behind their back? Mm -mm. They know. They know what's. They know what's. They know what God is cooking for them in the background. You see what I'm saying? And it's like that's why they're working so hard to purge and stop this old behavior and truly go through the storm to get to the light. You know, because God is cooking up and growing something behind their back that they know is the most beautiful thing that they've ever seen, and they want to get there. They want to get there. So it's like, yeah.
Um, it's like right now, it's like a, um, it's like some type of confusion and it's like some type of battle and competition right now. I feel like you, you, I mean, not necessarily competition. It's only two people. I just feel like it's a battle right now. And right now it seems like the arguments and the confusion and the arguments are easy right now. But if y'all don't like release this shit behind your back, it's like going to really erupt. You know what I'm saying? Like whoever this person is, they really feel backstabbed and betrayed by Leo. And I feel like it's this constant battle because it's like, I feel like this might be this person that, I feel like it's this person that really don't, that, that's dealing with Leo, possibly doesn't really know their worth. And they need to purge out all of this energy that they're giving to the situation and like really face and look at what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like, I don't really feel like Leo wants to fight with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really don't feel like Leo wants to fight with you. And I feel like this is mental thoughts of you feeling backstabbed and betrayed by the situation that you need to deal with. Behind your back is telling you what you need to do. You need to take the armor off and really look at the situation from the outside looking in. These are just thoughts. Do you understand what I'm saying? These are just thoughts that you're allowing to plague you and having you battling with someone that just that feel like it's not even worth the battle do you understand like this is someone that i feel like is trying to give to someone for the wrong intentions like you're trying to give to someone with the intentions of you're trying to give to someone with the intentions of possibly like trapping them or keeping them under your thumb do you see what I'm saying? You see this person's intentions. This person's intentions isn't isn't cool. And, and it's like you feel betrayed because Leo is not allowing you to give to them anymore because they want to grow. This is the empress. Her back is turned. Do you see what I'm saying? Her back is turned because she is growing. She is creating. She is learning how to use her powers. She does not feel... Like her beauty is truly received in this situation. Do you understand what I'm saying? She doesn't. This is the Queen of Cups. I feel like right now, this person is very nurturing. She's very given. She's very mature emotionally. And she's focused on that. Like she's focused on getting her emotions together and things like that. Mm -mm. This is the Three of Cups. Um, This is someone that is giving to herself and giving her cup and offering her cup to the universe so that she could grow. You understand what I'm saying? I don't feel like this person wants to give to just anybody. This person does not want to relinquish everything that they've been working on. Like I just I really feel like this person This is a woman here. This person that they're dealing with, this person right here that they're dealing with wants to keep fighting. Wants to keep fighting because they can't men mentally get over the fact that Leo will not allow them to give to them anymore. Because Leo knows that the reason that you're giving to me is because you're trying to keep me under your thumb. You know what I'm saying? And don't give me something that you're going to throw in my face later. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's, that's why Leo is just like, I'm pouring this shit out. I'm facing my demons. I'm, you know, dealing with you. I already know. Listen, I'm willing to go through the storm. I'm willing to get to the other side of this because I'm just like, no. <laughs> no. No. You see how this person is sat down, those two cups, and it's like offering. It's like they're offering themselves to the universe for clarity and change and emotional balance. That's honestly what I'm getting. It's like they're not reuniting. They're not reconnecting with nobody. Like they don't need no one but spirit, God, and the universe to help them through the spiritual transition and this growth. They're trying to get their emotions together. They're trying to be 
more than what they are currently and they feel like the only way that they're going to get there is through God and through spiritual uplifting and evolution it's like you just don't want to let them go you don't want to let them change and they're like fuck you I'm not anyway so let's get two more spreads and then we're up out of here because I feel like we're running long with this one what time is it yeah I definitely feel like we're running long I mean, I've basically been saying the same thing over and over. I feel like, yo, I mean, there has been some deception there because there's two different people. There's one person in particular, this main woman, or the, the there's I have a main woman is dealing with a, a Leo man. And I feel like this person just want to give, give, give. And they're like trying to trap Leo. And this Leo just like, stop expecting me to come back and to, like I don't want anything that you're offering me. I just want to. I just want to go. I just want to grow. I just, you know, yeah. No loyalty, because they're focusing on the spirit realm. They did to <laughs> focus on growing spiritually. Right now, they're dreaming and manifesting what they really want in their life, and I, they're they're not energetically aligned with whoever this person is. This name. Whoever you are, like, they're not energetically aligned with you. They're looking for a spiritual alignment. They're looking for the right person. Like, I feel like God is giving them little pieces of the puzzle, little bit by bit. I feel like that's why they're following the orbs of light. They're following the orbs of light. They can't be loyal to anything other than their spiritual. Like, the only thing that they're loyal to right now is their spiritual transition and what God is attracting to them and what they're dreaming about. That's the only thing that they're that's the only thing that they're connecting themselves to. It's like they don't want to party with nobody from the past. They don't want to reconnect with nobody in the past. They don't want fucking nothing from their past. They sat those cup down and the only cup that they had that was the cup of their owner offering it to the universe so that the universe can give them what they truly desire give me guidance yeah so whoever this was in the past that has literally been rocking their mind crazy that's feeling all backstabbing betrayed because leo was going for and they don't think about them no more like leo doesn't think about this shit anymore like this shit is truly in the past it's like they don't think about who you fucking they don't think about who you with None of that stuff like that. Um, and I feel like they're kind of thankful that they got away from the situation. Because I want to say it was like some real scandalous cheating. Like, yeah. I mean, it was it, it was something. Like, whatever whatever y'all situation was with Leo, it was something wrong. It was something wrong. And it's like, you mad because Leo don't want to be doing wrong shit with you no more? Like... I feel like this person was like the third, the third or something. Yeah, like the devil card. Like this was an affair. You know what I'm saying? Like this was an affair. And this might definitely be like a, a Leo that might have cut off the their karmic and focused on their marriage or some shit like that as well. Like most definitely. Most definitely. This could definitely be a Leo that cut off a side, a side slide. And stop offering their love to them and focus on their main woman. You feel what I'm saying? And like I'm, I, you know, I feel like I feel like to some level that there's temptation there. But I feel like Leo is awake and aware of like. I mean, they're sober. Like they, they, they are very, very, very aware of what this is. They know exactly what this is. It's just like, listen, I don't think about you no more. I don't really let let the desire or the temptation of you know that sexual control over what we had control me anymore. Like I know what I was doing was wrong. And it, and it was literally just, it was sex. It was literally, it was just sex. 
So, like, I don't know why you thought that there was going to be any loyalty there. I feel like whoever this is, they know, they knew what it was from the beginning. Like, they knew what it was from the beginning. I feel like this person knew that Leo was, like, married. Or the Avid just came out of a marriage or something like that. But, like, they knew. Too. And I feel like Leo is sober now. They're aware. They know what they were doing was wrong. They're not going to continue down that path. I feel like they might have lost. I mean, because I've been saying from the beginning, this Leo don't have nobody right now. I feel like they cut both people out. And they just, they're working on their spiritual growth right now. Leo doesn't think about this shit anymore. They found a new way of life. They completely got away with whatever they got away with you for however they got however long that they got away with it. They're avoiding this situation right now. They don't think about you and they feel really shameful. As you can see, this man, this person feels very shameful about this behavior, about this affair. Okay? So whatever you're offering is going to be rejected. You know what I'm saying? Because they're sober now. They're aware of all of their wrongdoings. And they're changed. They're spiritually on a new level. And, you know, you just going to have to face it. you just going to have to face it. They want a spiritual partner. And you could fake, try to get on this wave. Because I feel like whoever this is, is like I said, is trying to, in a toxic way, attach their self to what Leo was doing. Like, oh yeah, I'm on this shit. I'm, I'm, I'm your spiritual partner. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Leo knows that you're not. Okay. You know that you're not. So, I don't know. I don't know. You need to take that trip. Whoever this is that is dealing with this Leo. I don't know if you're on the receiving end of Leo doing this to you. Or, you know, whatever. But this is where Leo is. They have transitioned into a spiritual realm. They're on self-growth and understanding. And attracting a true partner for them. So whatever y'all had in the past. You kind of need to just. It's not kind of needed. You really need to let go of it. And wish the best for Leo. And go on, on your path. So that you can attract the right person for you. So I hope that this message helped because whoever this is, they're offering to Leo to control them, to keep them under their control. It's toxic. Do you understand? Let it go. I hope <laughs> y'all good. I'm gone. Peace.